So our main reason for hitting the road, other than pure freedom, was to go find climbing. And so it's been about a year and a half on the road, traveling, not working. I never would have got to do this before if I was working full time and waiting for those two weeks of time off. I'm Jess. And I'm Sean. And this is our Van Scullivan. One of my favorite features is our entryway with the tile that leads into the floor. I've always wanted this, so I was really, really excited when we were able to put it in the van. All right, and then here we have our little puppy bowls for their food, and then we just fold it away with the magnet. And then this space is actually one of my favorites, it's kind of like the photo op wall, but we found fence wood that someone was taking down and we did our whole wall, kind of like a very beautiful art piece out of reclaimed wood. And so if you pull this here, we have our secret garden of green onions. <laughs> but this is how we access the cab. And then walling the cab off like this actually keeps the living space a lot cooler or a lot warmer depending on the weather so that our animals are nice and comfortable back here. I wanted our space to feel more artsy and clean, not so cluttered. So we did this facade door that hides our bathroom so we can actually have like almost like a huge medicine cabinet. So we have our vitamins, our hair trimmers, our toothbrushes, all of the essentials in this space. And then we have our self-built composting toilet. So it's just in a beautiful box, but really it's just a glorified Home Depot bucket. <laughs> and then kitty litter box and a shower. So it's really nice because it's actually like a separate room. So you feel like you have privacy. So with the ProMaster, you have like this overhead area. So we've actually shoved a lot of our toilet stuff up there. And like, this is like what we use in our compost toilet. So it's nice to just tuck it all away. And then it continues the overhead space this way. And we just crammed a bunch of shoes. We have like 20 pairs of shoes each. We have our max air fan here. So we do have to crank it. We don't have the remote style, but that's fine. You can turn it on, you can actually set it to 78. It's cranking, it's hot. <laughs> so our entryway tile is actually matching our backsplash behind the sink. So we wanted to use as much as we could of this beetle kill pine. We bought like a huge six foot live edge piece that we just loved so much. So we tried to use every little bit of it. If you open it, put it on a track, so it actually just tucks back behind into that space there, exposing the stove. So we have a three burner, we also have an oven here, and then right below the stove, an oven. We have one large drawer with everything we need inside, and we also have a little utensil slider, so you can just like move it out of the way to access stuff. So for this space, we actually used a bar sink, but it was really nice because it's small but deep. And then we added this on top for just some extra counter space. And then under this space, you can't really see it, but we have our Excel ventless water heater as well. Another feature that I like about our sink is we can just swivel it over and fill up a pot if we're making pasta. So that was kind of clever to put it right there. Up here, this is where we keep some dishes, some spices and lots of food storage. <laughs> so we thought that this was very helpful to add these cargo nets just to hold everything inside. The cabinets stay closed when we drive that we've never had them open. But then once we parked somewhere and we went to open it, like cans of food was falling out of your face. So this really holds everything in. And then we added this later and realized, why didn't we do that sooner? It holds so many like little tiny snacks up there really well. And you can see everything. You're not like digging to find something. We originally wanted to build a tiny house, but we realized how difficult it was to move it around and get to travel and climb in new places. So we kind of narrowed down our budget to what we could afford and decided to move into a van. And we built it out so we could live in it full time, felt like home, and we could travel around and keep climbing and seeing new places. Yeah, with the tiny homes, I was on 3D SketchUp basically making a 
28 foot with a gooseneck and then down to a 20 foot with a gooseneck and then down to a 20 foot with no gooseneck. They kept getting smaller and smaller just because yeah. of budget and we wanted to be able to move around. And when you're in a tiny house that you have to tow around, it's a little bit more difficult and as far as finding spaces or terrain that you can cover. So uh, the van just kind of made sense to be able to get to the places we wanted to go. I just didn't think I could live in a van. I thought it was too small, but with the full closet and a bathroom, it feels like plenty of space. She definitely had some stuff that she required <laughs> in order to move into a van, but with enough Pinterest, you know, cute, cute <laughs> pictures of vans on Pinterest, she uh, you convinced me. <laughs> she finally, finally came to the dark side. <laughs> yeah, but I did downsize a lot. I got rid of a lot. So it took us eight months to build out the van and we finally moved into it on May 4th of 2020. And we worked about six months full-time or regular jobs. And then we quit, hit the road on November 1st of 2020. And so it's been about a year and a half on the road, traveling, not working. And now we finally got back to, how do we make money on the road? So we went back to my mom's and picked up my trailer tools, which is where it was being stored in, in San Diego. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna take it with us for the next leg of the tour and hopefully find some work. And it seems to be just falling into our lap so far. So yeah. let's keep it going. And there's a lot of people out there that just need help. So we're able to travel to them and help them with small projects or a lot of projects. So we decided on a Murphy bed so that we can open up the space in the back of the van and actually have seating for entertaining guests. We fit side to side. Uh, we're pretty short, so Sean fits perfectly from side to side of the van, like his feet are almost flat, um, and I have plenty of room to move around. But so most people, you know, you have to decide, can I fit side to side? Which direction do I need my bed to go? And for us, it worked out perfectly to have a Murphy bed style. And we just added a table so that we can also enhance our entertaining space. We didn't have a table for two years now. So we actually just built it. We used some more recycled fence wood that we found to match our wall. And we epoxied the top. There was a little knot and a hole. So I put some dried flowers inside. It's my favorite feature now. <laughs> okay, aside from my beautiful hat collection <laughs> and more saved fence wood, we have a bench below here and it opens like so. We've shoved all of our climbing gear in here. So on this side, we have our other 20 inch bench. This is where we have our water tank, tools, we have our water pump and accumulator, and we have our heater. So in this corner, we have the thermostat so we can actually set the temperature for the heater so it'll kick on whenever it needs to. So that way we feel comfortable to leave the pets inside the van when we're in cold temperatures. So under the cabinet here, we have our Wow Odo projector and we can project movies onto a pull down screen when the bed is down. We can also hang a screen on the back of the bed here to watch movies when it's in bench position. And I wanted to show you our clever curtains that are on these bungee cords. Our cat loves to lay in them like a hammock. It's kind of like a happy accident. But if you slide this over, pull on this, we have one inch insulation window plugs. So it keeps it really cool back here or really warm when we're in cold temperatures. So one feature I absolutely had to have was a full size closet to hang clothes, and jewelry, but we strap it in so it's not moving and like the hangers aren't hitting the doors while we're driving. And I could hang, I have two purses hanging in here, panties, socks for both of us, with tons of jackets, lots of jewelry. I also make jewelry on the side. So I got all of my jewelry making supplies shoved on top here in this shelf. So in the space below the closet is our refrigerator. The map is very special to me. It was my grandfather's from the Navy. So we did a little Maj Paj cover to the fridge. We just open that up. We added these straps to the handles so you don't have to shove your hand in there, but makes the opening very convenient and easy. We keep both sides a refrigerator. We just don't find the need for an entire half of this fridge to be freezer, but you can set the temperatures on this side and you can make it a freezer if you like. My favorite thing about living on the road is the fact that I get to travel. I never, ever, ever left the bubble of Orange County. And so it's kind of opened up a lot of doors to get to see new things. And we've met a lot of really, really cool people and made the best friendships we've ever had while living on the road. So it's all about community and just freedom.
Yeah, I mean, for your freedom seems like it's the obvious answer, but it's definitely yeah. all the people you get to meet, all the places you get to see that mm -hmm. most people don't see in a lifetime. And we saw the entire country in a year and a half. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we started in Boulder, Colorado, head to the West Coast, went all the way to Washington, cut over to New York, down to the Florida Keys, and then back up to San Diego. So yeah. we kind of did a big loop around the entire country. Um, and I have family all over the country. Me she too. has family all over the country. So mm -hmm. we had kind of destinations, but we followed an app called Mountain Project, which is like a climbing destination app. So we can just kind of go from point to point for climbing. Um, and it kind of helped us narrow our, our trips down to like two hours at a time. So we didn't really ever have to go for long five, six hour drives or whatever. So we got yeah. to see a lot of stuff. My Google Maps history pins just like light up a circle around the outside of the country so it's kind of cool to look back yeah as I say, it doesn't feel like a road trip and we also got to visit family and friends that moved away and we haven't seen for years so it was like i never would have got to do this before if i was working full time and waiting for those two weeks of time off to get to maybe go somewhere for four days things we did to the outside of the vehicle we put our ram skull on <laughs> we also have our front lawn that we just bought a piece of astroturf from home depot so that we're not tracking dirt into the van and we also can use it when we're taking our outdoor showers we can just stand on this so we don't get all muddy we changed the tires we put on some toyo tires uh, some open countries for those off-roading moments we added city water fill and propane so we can just connect to any hose and just have running water without using our pump. We have a 25 pound tank underneath. It's an undermount ASME tank um, designed for a, a Westphalia, um, but through the uh, extension kit where we can bring it over to the side here. So it's mounted over the rear axle. Since we only have one roof fan, we did decide to install two small windows in the back just to get better ventilation. On the back of the van, we have our prime design ladder, which is a no drill ladder. So it just clamps onto the top and bottom of the door. So you don't have to drill any holes or anything like that. And we can take it off and move it to another van if we wanted to. We also added a hitch for our trailer, which we carry all of our tools in for when we're building on the road. So up on the roof, we have a rooftop deck. It's about five by six. We made it out of Sapili, which is like an African hardwood. Um, and we have two 160 watt solar panels from Renergy. For our battery went really, really simple. We just went with the Goal Zero 1400. Um, and this does everything all in one. So there's no connecting wires, no batteries, no DC to DC converters. Everything's built in there. So all we gotta do is pretty much plug our stuff into it and route whatever AC stuff to outlets and it's good to go. If you're doing your own build and you're not super familiar with electrical stuff, these things are an awesome way to go. Uh, they can cost a lot, but I would say generally they don't cost as much as even like a regular, you know, setup that most people would have in their van. So our main reason for hitting the road other than pure freedom was to go find climbing. So this is where we store all of our climbing guides. We built these uh, out of the same fence wood that we used in the interior. My number one advice <laughs> for anybody that wants to get into the van building or into van living is plan, plan, plan. Make sure you, if you're building your own van, you get a good solid plan of what you want in a van before you start building anything. Mm -hmm. uh, we run into a lot of people on the road that are like, uh, you know, it's hard to live on the road because we don't have this or this. And it's like, to me, it just instantly pops into my head. That's because you didn't plan enough, you know? Yeah. So if you feel sure like you... I need a toilet, make sure you plan to have a yeah. toilet. You know, so like anytime someone's unhappy being on the road, we're usually like, you missed something, you know, so let's fix that. Let's incorporate that somehow. If you want to get a hold of us, Crux and Beta, C R U X mm -hmm. and A N D B E T A. You can find it Instagram, YouTube. Yeah, I was going to say, Instagram is probably the best place um, to contact us for any kind of if you want to meet up and you want to hang out somewhere. Um, but also if you want to see some of our build renovations and our own build, you can find us on YouTube. Just search Crux and Beta. Thanks so much for watching guys. Mm -hmm.